Hey, I'm Mike, and this is a quick reference guide for blending modes in Photoshop and Manga Studio. We are on linear light mode. So the way I have the layer set up, we have this pastel and gouache drawing of Dave Chappelle delivering the bird revelation on the bottom, and then on top we have a linear light mode. Uh, linear light is easily and quickly described as a comprehensive, you know, one layer rendering tool. It'll darken things and it'll lighten things and it will shift the color so you you can you can use it to to render if it has the right look. Uh, the definition uh, according to the guide here is the brightness is increased or decreased depending on the color of the set layer. The set layer being the layer that's set to linear light. So if the set layer is brighter than 50% gray, the image is brightened. If darker, the image is darkened. Um, the, the layers below are combined, the pixels are combined, so you're going to see a color shift. For example, uh, we have, we'll put this all the way up on 100% opacity, and we'll, we'll draw in here. Watch where we are here, and we're over a green layer. Notice that we get a color shift. We get, it'll push it just a little bit towards green. Uh, the effects are quite intense, even with a, a paintbrush like this. Um, you get, uh, quite a saturated result um, so I find that you can when when you render with this thing uh, going between darks and lights actually let's let's just render if uh, even though this is a physical drawing let's just say we were gonna we we're gonna change it a little bit we we're gonna change the rendering so we'll first uh, grab some darker tones and you don't have to change the layer the darker anything less than 50 percent will darken it and anything more than 50 percent will lighten it and so let's just even on this super intense uh thing let's let's render a little bit with both dark and light say we wanted to I don't know, make this piece more dramatic or something. You know, usually when you scan things, they get they get a little bit washed out, and this is no exception. All right. Now, you can you can combine the the darker the darker rendering. Let's just say there's like a blue stage light coming from over here that is going to kind of With uh, linear light, you can com you combine the the two the tones with different colors, and you can get interesting you know interesting results underneath here. Uh, and then, of course, this is obviously extremely intense. We wouldn't want to we wouldn't want to use anything like this. But if we we can back it off to get kind of a a light effect and combine a few of those layers on top of each other and create uh, a piece with more depth. Alternatively, you can just use the the increased darkness. And the and the color shift. If you just wanted to, uh, you know, paint in a little bit of a of a background, you know, create some more contrast to get your foreground or whatever to pop out. And uh, but with any of the dark values, they're going to go to black almost immediately, as you can see. Even if they're, you know, this is a pretty far color from black. But watch how dark this is. Here. It's not quite black, but it's very dark. So, but once you dial it back, you still get all of the pixel relationships underneath. So, that's linear light. Um, like all of these combinatory uh, overlay and vivid light, soft light, hard light, you know, sometimes it's best to just render a piece and get the colors where you want them and then scroll through a couple of those uh, combinatorial. 
overlay layers and see which one you like and then uh, you know adjust the opacity accordingly but uh, I hope this has been helpful I have videos on every single one of these modes just quick little five minute things that tell you uh, what they are and and uh, a couple suggestions for how you can use them to make great art um, yeah so check out my channel for those videos like subscribe thanks